Hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Larry the Batman Fan here, and I'm back with another video. I hope that you all are doing well. So, as promised, I wanted to talk about some of the Far Cry games that I have in my collection. I do not currently own Far Cry New Dawn, Far Cry Primal, or Fl Far Cry 2, or Blood Dragon. Uh, I think Far Cry Blood Dragon, though, was just an add-on to the, um, to one of the Far Cry games, but I could be mistaken. I also do know that, uh, there was a Far Cry game on Xbox 360, but it was just basically a, like, remake or remaster of the original, uh, Far Cry game. So anyway, let's go ahead and talk about some of the Far Cry games. First off, I have Far Cry Instincts for the original Xbox. I got this in a trade at Pastime Legends several years ago when their uh, Lark Street location was open. I remember getting this for $8, but of course it was a trade, so I didn't really pay anything for it. Um gotta say uh far cry instincts it's it is a good game but um going back to it now it's just an exercise in frustration it seems like the levels are not they're not as polished as they used to be they're not as beautiful looking as they used to be not as colorful well, I'm, I'm well they're they're colorful i guess but it's just not as good of a game as it was when it first came out. The impact on it was strong enough to keep the series going, keep it alive. But I just felt like going back to it now, it's just not as good as it used to be. You know, um, certain things that you do in the game, you know, you shoot bad guys and stuff, explore these forest uh, type lands things like that you know and you shoot people in the game and kill people uh, I forgot if you can parachute in this game or not I think you can um, the trees you know they, they were good for its time you know a lot of Xbox games now you go back to them now and you can tell <clears throat> Excuse me. You can tell that they're good, but they the graphics um, for some of the games just don't look as good as they used to. You know what I mean? It's the same thing. It could be said for PlayStation One. You can tell that there's a little bit of graininess to it. You know. But uh, the weapons and everything in the game, they shoot and they fire pretty well. You can hear the sound of it well when you're playing it on the original Xbox. So there is some realism uh, in the games. Yeah, it's just a lot of exploring and shooting people, you know. So it's like an action-adventure first-person shooter type of game. That's really what this is. Um, <clears throat> there was a multiplayer in this game, too. Which I did play when I had more friends to play with. And... Uh, stuff like that, but right now, I don't have a lot of friends to play games with, so it's usually just me. My brother's not interested in video games, so he doesn't play them. I do, though, you know, so it'd be nice to have another friend that I could actually play multiplayer with in these type of games, because it makes the game even more fun, more enjoyable, you know. But overall, this is a decent game. Um... I'd give it a 6 out of 10. Just going back to it now, it just doesn't hold up. <clears throat> just had to clean these up a bit. Sorry about that. Alright, next up we have Far Cry Vengeance. 
Uh, this game got a lot of hate when it came out because a lot of people were like, you know, this, this game sucks. Like, the, you know, having to use the controller and the Wii nunchuck at the same time to, you know, move your character forward like this, you know, or move it left and right. It was just weird for a lot of people. I was able to get used to that pretty easily. Um, I'll admit that I didn't get used to the, you know, you kind of had to duck down in certain areas to get through certain doors and stuff like that. Uh, that took a little bit of you getting used to because it's like you had to hit, um, had to hit, I don't have the controller with me, but, uh, you had to hit like the, I think the plus button to duck down, you know, or, or something like that. It was one of those buttons. It might have been the A button or something. A and that button on the back. I forget. But uh, that was a little bit weird. So I understand why some people hated this game. Another reason they hated this game is the AI in the game. Because the AI, it seems like they're brain dead. You know, they're not very smart in this game. Like, you go up to like three of them. You know, or one one or two of them from behind, and they don't even see you coming, and you just pop them in the head and kill them. So some of the AI in the game is pretty stupid, to be honest with y'all. But overall, I didn't think this game was that bad. Honestly, I played a lot worse than this. You know, I had some fun playing this game. I'll admit the graphics could have looked a lot better, though. I mean, this was, what, the 7th gen or something? 8th gen? And the graphics look more like a PS2 game. It's like, that's pathetic. Like, it should have looked better. It should have looked like a Wii game, not a PS2 game or a PS1 game. But overall, the shooting in it and the driving the car wasn't bad. I did have some fun with this game, so I'm going to give it a pass and say that it was playable. So this is definitely a 6 out of 10, in my opinion, for a Far Cry game. You will have some fun with this game. It's not unplayable. It's not broken. It's not trash. So overall, I give it a pass. Here's the back. <clears throat> Next up, I have Far Cry 3 on the PlayStation 3. And this one I did play quite a bit. I got very close to beating this game. This game is also available on Xbox 360. Uh, it's good. You, uh, from what I gather, you come out of a camp. You and one other person you break free. Actually, it was three of you that break out of this camp prison. And you're like, you know, we had enough of this shit. We're trying to get the hell out of here, you know. And so you had to literally in the first level, you're running. Because they got people shooting at you because you're trying to get away from that camp. So apparently, I guess after the second game, I had I had never played the second game. Apparently, you get captured and thrown in prison somehow. Uh, so this third game is when you're kind of breaking away from that, trying to get out of that prison camp. So that's how the game starts up, and then I'm like running through the forest and everything. There's people from behind me shooting and throwing arrows and stuff, firing off their AK-47s and stuff. And you're just sort of sprinting along like this, trying to get away. It was cool. I uh, died a couple of times at that spot, but I eventually got through. Um, I don't think that everybody makes it. You make it, and one of your friends make it, but I think that one guy, he dies. Um, spoiler alert, sorry. <clears throat> and there's uh there were some other things later on in the game as I remember got to this one part we had to climb up to the very top of this tower to pull this lever and then it was like this giant snake on the ground it was like a rattlesnake I had to shoot that thing in the face that thing kind of scared me a bit you know but I shot it in the face and it died so thank god for that um, driving of the vehicles felt a bit more natural. Not like Far Cry Vengeance where it's like, you're shooting in, gotta control it in some asinine weird way. 
while shooting at the guys in the car and, and driving at the same time. It was weird on the Wii. It, it controlled like crap when it came to that. It felt more natural driving the, the Jeep or the car. I, I would say it's a, more of a Jeep. You know, it felt more natural and it was just easier to control all together. All around, really. <clears throat> so yeah, this was a good game. Um, I had some fun with it. I never beat this game. But I remember getting pretty far in it. Um, I like how beautiful the jungle looks. I like some of the atmospheres in the desert level. So yeah, it was good. I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. I give this one an 8 out of 10. This, this really improved Far Cry a lot. So 8 out of 10 for that. And then next up, I have Far Cry 4, which I have played some of. Uh, yeah, the graphics look amazing. They look very colorful, bright, and beautiful. The saber-toothed tigers that you fight in the game look realistic. The snakes in the game look realistic. The snakes actually made me jump, freaked the hell out of me, because I don't like snakes. I hate snakes. Um, <clears throat> but overall, yeah, the game was solid for uh, action adventure first person shooter game. Uh, kind of, as I remember, the story was like just traveling to the Himalayas to spread your mother's ashes across. The native land, you find yourself caught up in a civil war and an overthrown oppressive regime, regime of a ruthless dictator. Explore and survive the familiar land where unpredictable danger lurks around every corner. Uh, yeah, now it's coming back to me. So, yeah, there was this dictator that you had to kill, but it isn't until the end of the game. I never got that far, though, uh, to the point where I could fight that dictator and kill him. I think the sixth game also had a ruthless dictator as well. Because I've seen gameplay on it. I do own that game. We're going to get to that though. But uh, there are wildebeests and snakes that you have to kill in this game. And um, there might be some elephants that and uh, you know rams that you know charge at you. You know lions and shit like that. Where you gotta fight them and shoot them in the face. So, it's a bit inhumane. But I understand it. You know, a lion or a wildebeest tiger is coming at me or something. Yeah, you gotta shoot it. Because otherwise you're gonna end up killed. You know. But, uh, yeah, the, the graphics look good. The gameplay is fun. Definitely one of the highlights for Far Cry. Far Cry 4 is a good game. I need to play more of this fr franchise to, you know, and beat this game. I gotta beat the third game as well. I have beaten the first Cry Far Cry game, if you're wondering. I beat it once. I beat it one time. I never got through it again. Never wanted to go back to it. You know, because it was rough around the edges. But anyways, yeah, good game. I'll uh, give it an 8.5 out of 10. These next two games I have for the collection purposes, but I have not touched them yet. So I can't really say much about them. I've seen gameplay on Far Cry 5, you know, but I haven't experienced it yet myself because I'm still going through the game. Let me just show this again just in case I forgot. Show a good uh, screenshots. But yeah, it's good. It's a good first person shooter action adventure game um it's cheap about 15 bucks now i think at gamestop maybe 10 bucks that's worth it for that price um i've heard the ending is uh crazy has a crazy ending but um yeah there's not much i can say about it because i haven't had a chance to play it yet and then i also own far cry 6 which i did get brand new but it took the shrink wrap and everything off of it uh, unfortunately I have not played it yet I've had it for like two years now and just haven't gotten around to playing it I got a lot of my backlog for games so <clears throat> that's why I just bought a couple of Wii games and that's basically it 
Although I did kind of want to get Mario Party 8 and 9 for the Wii and the Kirby games, but I don't know. I'm kind of at the point where I'm I'm good with my games. I have a lot of games to play, honestly. I don't know. Maybe I'll get them or, or just not get them. Because that would probably be over 100 bucks for all those those five games. There's a, a, probably about 30 30 to 35 more Wii games it's worth owning. Anyways, that's a, a topic for another video, for a Wii collection video. But uh, yeah, I never played this game, so I can't really say much about it. I've seen gameplay on it. That guy right there is a dictator. He's trying, he's like this uh, bad guy that you have to fight, but it isn't until towards the end of the game. I think he kidnaps your daughter in the game. So like this is the perfect image I guess for the game. I've also heard that there's some political bullshit in this game. Like, can we have games without LGBT garbage in it? Guys, Bethesda, Ubisoft, Rockstar, and all those other corporations. Stop putting LGBT garbage in our games. We don't want that. And also, we don't care about your political nonsense. Stop putting it in Call of Duty and Far Cry. Because we don't care about it. We don't want to hear it. We just want to play the game and enjoy the game. Without any of that nonsense in there. That's why... I, older games are the way to go, man. Sega Genesis, N64, PlayStation 1 and 2. All, every console up to like PS3, Xbox 360 and Wii. Solid. No problems with glitches. No problems with any of the games. <clears throat> Excuse me, the functionality of the games work perfectly. None of that online crap where you, you know, oh, you don't have online for your game? Well, <laughs> sucks to be you. You can't play the game. No, none of that happened with up to the PS3, Xbox 360, and the Wii. It had online features, but didn't have that problem. You bought the game, you were able to play it. <clears throat> PS4 came around, Xbox One, and all that changed everything. But yeah, uh, there isn't much I can say, honestly, because I haven't played it. So, But, like I said, I've seen gameplay of it, and it looks great. It looks like a lot of fun, you know. So until I beat Far Cry 3, I'm going to get through that eventually. And then 4, then I'm going to get to 5, and then I'll get to 6 at some point. But like I said, I've got so many games in my backlog. I've got over 100 games I got to get through. So I'm sorry that I couldn't really go in debt on the 5th and 6th game. You know, I mean, that, that might make me sound like a horrible gamer, but I haven't played enough of them to say much. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyways uh, for what I gave, for what I did here. And uh, you guys take care and stay tuned because on November 8th, we are going to be doing a contest giveaway show. The entry period has officially closed now. There are no more entries entering into the contest show. So if you didn't contact me directly on Facebook or Instagram, I'm sorry, but there is no more entries. But everybody else that has entered into the giveaway show, please, um, or I should say good luck to you. And may the best man or men's or women win. Alright, anyways, I'm going to go. See y'all later. Take care. Larry the Batman fan signing off. Peace.